Today we're taking a few minutes to say goodbye to a longtime member of the Grassfed Homestead. As part of our effort to downsize our livestock headcount a little bit, we are saying goodbye to one of our four-legged friends, Miss Daisy. Daisy is the first sheep to ever appear in one of the grass-fed homestead videos. She made her first appearance in our second video we ever put out back in June of 2016, over two years ago. Just like we, just like when we were milking. Lambs up there. Hey, George. That's a bed, hey, George. That's a donkey. That's a donkey. Okay, you want to hold it for? You'll need to hold it. Maybe not. It wasn't until much later in the year that Daisy actually came to our homestead. It was in, I believe, late November 2016 before Daisy came here. She actually came here as a pet with Clover and Sage to fill the void that was created after we harvested our first batch of lambs. They can't heal us. No, no, more, uh, don't. <laughs> no, they're all busy with that alfalfa. Yes, please. That's Sage. That's Sage. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh. These are the maidens. <laughs> oh. And there's one grandma. There's Daisy. Yeah, I really there did. I'll have to call you back. Girl. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Girl, Daisy. There's Daisy. Oh, yeah. Well, there they are. Hey, George. Little girls. Well, let me introduce you guys to the new flock. This right here is Daisy. Daisy is part Frisian and part Katahdin. This one right here, Ashley, just named Clover. She she already has a name, but Tess didn't know what it was. She has to look it up. So Ashley named her Clover until we find out her real name. So what do you think, little buddy? They're nice. You like them? Yes, I do. Why she? I guess she's like so hungry. Daddy, see? I was going to get hold of stuff. It's so sweet, Daddy. It's so but they were just on loan to us from our breeder Tess and they were just gonna stay for a few months until the winter got too hard and then we'd bring them back. So after being here for several weeks and the snow started piling up high and rendering my electric fencing quite useless, it was time for Daisy, Clover, and Sage to go back home. I talked to our sheep breeder Tess yesterday. She's the one that owns these sheep. I asked her if we can start making plans for bringing them back to her property. And it's not because this has been too challenging. We've worked out the watering situation okay and they're doing fine here. It's just my hay is getting really low. We do have some more winter weather coming up in the forecast, but really my main concern is the hay. Now we gotta see if we can get these ewes in the van.
That went pretty smoothly. Now we just got to get them back. But when we got our breeding stock and their lambs, like Connie and Maggie, we got them in April of 2017, and along with them came Daisy, Sage, and Clover. They came back here to the grass-fed homestead. We officially bought them from Tess, so they became our sheep. So Daisy here is one of three sheep that have had the most time here on our homestead. And because I found myself in a position where I needed to downsize some on my sheep head count as well as the chickens, I listed some of the sheep for sale, including Daisy. And one of our viewers in Bend, Oregon, reached out to me and said she wanted to get Daisy and one of our ram lambs. The thought of putting some of my sheep up for sale, especially ones that have been here a while and I've given a lot of care, it, it was, kind of upsetting to put them out for sale because you don't know who's going to buy them are they going to go to a good home you know how are they going to be treated are they going to be fed right a lot of these questions are going through my mind but i was so relieved to find out that daisy's going to be going to a great home it makes me as a seller and someone who puts a lot into husbandry it makes me feel a lot better about the situation hello annabelle Hello. Annabelle's eye, as you can see, is all healed up. She had a bad eye injury a couple months back, but it seems to be all healed up, doesn't it, Miss Annabelle? Yes. I'm gonna go check out these ram lambs now. Hey guys, gotta get in here, watch out. Hello, Man. gentlemen. Hello, boys. So I had, in addition to these yeah. five ram lambs, I had six ewe lambs in here as well from our lambing this spring and they have all been purchased and have been picked up so all of my ewe lambs are gone with the exception of connie's lamb she connie's lamb is still with connie over with the rest of the flock and this handsome boy right here was annabelle's ram lamb that veronica wound up adopting and he's really nice looking ram really nice young fellow this guy right here is Daisy's ram lamb, and he is really a fantastic looking ram. He's got excellent size. He's actually my biggest ram lamb, and his colorings are nice. I think he's going to be a good breeder. As far as the chicken head count reduction is going, we're moving in the wrong direction in that way. If anything, we have more chickens in the last couple weeks than we've reduced. We have this huge flock of pullet age chickens that are just running around. All those guys free ranging out there were probably hatched about two months ago. They were very much a surprise hatching. Just one day we just had a lot of chirping going on and baby chicks everywhere. So we accommodated them the best we could but they have just kind of taken off free range wild style. I don't do anything. I don't give them food or water. They just I guess come in, get water from the other chickens and then take off all day uh, eating whatever they can find on the property. But, in just the last week or so, we've had two more clutches of chickens hatch. Can't seem to find the other hen with her clutch. Usually she's hanging out in there, or behind the greenhouse over this way, but I don't see her right now. 
The other clutch, the elusive clutch, is several times larger than this little clutch here. That hen is leading around at least a dozen, but probably 14 or 15 little chicks. I put the word out on Facebook that I was looking to get rid of some of my chickens and I wasn't even asking any money for it. I had only one person show up and they took seven hens. So we cut our hen count by seven, but our overall chicken count, especially with all these younger birds now running around here, is still pretty high.